palm oil industry is the common agriculture industry in Malaysia. The industry is significant contributor to Malaysia overall economic activity by providing both employment and income from export. In 2011, the sector was the fourth largest contributor to Malaysian economic activities, accounting for 53 billion ringgit of Malaysian gross national income. Here where the palm oil processing takes place, in the palm oil mill, they are processed to produce as a base ingredient in our daily product usage. Most of the products in the market today contain the palm oil. Throughout the palm oil processing activities, they produce a byproduct called pomade or palm oil main effluent. This pomade is highly polluted wastewater due to high volume of COD, BOD, suspended solid, and it also has an acidic properties. Due to the huge quantities of pomade generated by the palm oil mill industry, it's not good practice to discharge the wastewater into the environment without treated properly. The wastewater treatment system in Bell Palm Industry consists of primary treatment and secondary treatment. Now I will explain about the primary treatment. The system starts with the raw effluent enters the oil trap tank for oil separation and cooling process. Then the wastewater moves to acid acidification tank and the, the wastewater will be contained for 2 until 4 days to allow the acid forming bacteria to hydrolyze organic matter into organic acids. The wastewater then that contain organic acid will be channeled into 4 anaerobic digestive tank in a series wing. Here, the wastewater are digested and forming and forming a byproduct which consists of methane, carbon dioxide, and water. The methane will be captured and will be used to power up the treatment system. Then the process continues with ponding system, which comprises of four anaerobic pond and two aerobic pond. The function of anaerobic pond are just to lengthen the retention time for further settling of suspended solid to reduce the solid content in wastewater. The wastewater will enter the anaerobic pond 1, 2, and 3 and 4. On anaerobic pond 4, multi disc screw press dewatering machine are installed to separate the sludge from wastewater. The sludge will be processed into sludge cake and the wastewater will be channeled back to anaerobic pond 1 for further settling of solid content. After that, the wastewater will be channeled to aerobic pond which surface aerator installed in both. In both. The function of aerobic pond is to increase the amount of dissolved oxygen to promote biological oxidation in the digested water. Here, the amount of BOD and suspended solid are reduced to 500 ppm and 800 ppm respectively. Then, the process will move to secondary treatment. The secondary treatment system starts with aeration process in aeration tank. Here, air diffusers are used to increase dissolved oxygen into the wastewater to allow aerobic biodegradation for further digestion of organic matter. To further remove solids and lessen the organic loading, then the wastewater will flow into clarifying tank. There are two clarifying tanks used for this system which are first stage and second stage clarifier. From the first stage clarifier tank, the wastewater will be channeled into mixing chamber where the process of coagulation and flocculation occur to further remove solid content. The coagulant from coagulant storage tank were injected and blended with wastewater. Then, the wastewater were channeled into secondary stage clarifier. Here, the sludge produced were separated using filter press dewatering machine and the wastewater were channeled into clarified water tank. In clarified water tank or exam tank, the value of COD, BOD and suspended solid will check to compare the value with standard limit for compliance with regulation. 
here, the efficiency of these treatment systems can be determined. If the wastewater are still not complied with standard, the wastewater will channel back to anaerobic pond for, for further treatment. If the quality of the wastewater comply with the standard, the wastewater will proceed to final discharge in Simpang Kiri River.